All right, we need to cover the inner crescent kick, reverse hook kick, round kick combination found in second degree black belt form. Uh, a lot of people spend their time with the pinwheel kicks um, and because they're one of the most noticeable moments. But this is a great combination for tournament practitioners to up level because many people are so focused on the pinwheels that they don't give this kicking combination the attention it deserves. It's a really important kicking combination, very difficult, really fun too. So what's going to happen is, in the form, I do press, inner crescent kick, and then after the inner crescent kick, I do reverse hook kick, round kick, and I land the back stance, okay? So, slow motion right here. The left leg does an inner crescent kick, and then I have to land forward. If I land backwards, the next technique cannot be a reverse kick. In fact, I'm moving away from my sparring opponent instead of moving towards them. And this is an offensive combination. So I go inner crescent kick, boom. I close the distance by landing forward. And then I reverse hook kick, round kick. All right? One thing we want to cover as well, reverse kicks, the shoulder is key to reaction force. So if I'm not using my shoulder on the reverse hook kick, round kick, then I have two bad options. Bad option number one is to turn, look, pause and then hook it, round kick, which means I can't use that kicking combination in sparring, it's too slow. Bad option number two, if I'm not using my shoulder, is for me to kick fast, but then to lose my balance, and then try and come back with the round kick. So, my legs are gonna fire fast, but my shoulder is what puts on the brakes. So right here, I go in a press kick, boom, and then right here, boom. See me pull the shoulder, boom. When the hook goes, the shoulder pulls to regain control of the body, okay? So, inner crest kick, boom, all right? That is, again, one of the more difficult combinations and a really awesome combination, okay? Thanks, guys. Go practice.